Hello everybody, welcome back to another fucking, uh, um, I don't know what you'll fucking say, it, but, uh, I know, um, I, um, I haven't posted, uh, Halloween 2018 review five years ago, but I just want to kind of make this review because it's been five years since this movie came out and it's kind of, aniver kind of an anniversary, I guess. I'll be doing this with Kills, and then you know, I'm going to do 1978, but um, the reason why I wanted to come back to this movie is because um, I recently watched this on Peacock, and the movie is still great, not going to lie, because uh, just a lot of great uh, scenes and dialogue, and I just love this movie. It's a good reboot, aside from Rob Zombie's re reboot. But this is a trilogy that doesn't have one bad movie except for Ends. That movie was okay, but they could have done better. They, they they shouldn't have killed off Michael. I'm being completely honest. That literally killed him. But And Michael being beaten up by a teenager. But the reason why I wanted to come back to this movie is because I want to talk about how great it is still. So, probably one of the best re reboots of all time. In my opinion, probably better than, well, not Friday the 13th, but one of the best Halloween reboots. It, it, it can be better than Rob Zombies, though, but, um, I forget what my favorite kill is in this fucking movie, so, uh, probably my favorite kill in this fucking movie is probably gonna have to be, uh, um, uh, Dr. Sartain, where he gets his fucking head smashed. I think that's a cool ass kill. But the movie opens on, uh, them, um, at the fucking sanitarium, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and they, uh, bring out this fucking mask and shit, and, uh, they try to see if Michael will face them, but everyone else is feeling a tense reaction. Then, you got on Halloween night, you got a whole blood massacre, a lot of great kills, uh, the one where he, uh, kills the fat kid on the fucking spike thing. The whole cut scene with the music music plays out there, which is pretty badass. Um, let's see, a one where he uh, kills uh, Karen's husband with the fucking uh, chain thingy. I don't know what you call it, but that's a cool kill. I like the part where Lori and him fight, which is probably the best part of the whole fucking movie. But Michael beat her ass, though. You gotta, you gotta um, understand that. I would say the fight, the fight cut scene in 2018 is way better than kill ends because, not because Michael lost to it, because Lori literally, no, no, it's because of Michael. If Michael wasn't this stupid, it ends, like, where he gets stabbed at the part, he couldn't remove the knife or anything, he just decided to try to fight her still. If that was Michael, actually, he would remove the knife and then just fucking kill her right there and then, but. 2018, uh, Michael would probably not do that. Well, he would probably do that. And, uh, the whole atmosphere of this fucking movie feels fucking great. Or the, um, beginning where he actually kills somebody. Well, I wouldn't say this is the first kill, but the part where, uh, he's, uh, walking in the neighborhood and then he goes into this fucking built this house for this mom is, and kills her with a fucking, uh, hammer, which is pretty fucking cool, he, he doesn't mind the baby either, um, let's see what else, in general, it's just a fucking great reboot, like, the story's good, like, it follows, um, it doesn't follow the whole plot, like, it doesn't follow, like, every Halloween movie, it just starts from 1978, and it skips, which I don't get how they can do that, like, Plus Halloween 2, because Halloween 2 literally takes place on the same night as the first movie. So that would make sense if Halloween 2, then it led up to 2018, then kills and ends. That would make more fucking sense. But they decided not to do that because, like, it would not make any sense. Like, if Michael died in 1978, well, not died, but disappeared in 1978, do you not think he would still kill on that exact same night? Like, literally. So, you need a second movie to that. 
because I don't think it would disappear for 40 years and come back. And thank God we're, we're done with this fucking whole Laurie Strode bullshit. Because we're getting a fucking TV series or a fucking reboot. I wouldn't mind any. But anyway, back to 2018. It's a great movie still. A lot of people did not like this one for some reason. But in my back of my head, in the back of my mind, I like this movie a lot. And it's just too good. Like, I would watch this probably every fucking Halloween when I go to watch every Halloween movie again. I would go uh, Halloween 1, 2, maybe 3, 4, obviously, 5, 6. Then you skip h drill because that one's fucking horrible. Then Resurrection. Then you go to Rob Zombie's Halloween. Then you skip Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 because that one's awfully garbage. Then you go... 2018, then you go kills and ends, but I just wanted to make a video about uh, Halloween 2018, I know I haven't been putting out the best content lately, but probably my favorite character in this whole fucking movie, definitely Michael Myers, but I like Dr. Sartain, I like him for acting like, almost like Loomis, but The whole part where he, um, he says, uh, say something, you obviously know Michael won't say shit, and there's like, uh, remember back then, when this fucking movie came out, or when ends didn't even come out, and they were still working on kills, and people were talking about, what would happen if Michael spoke in Halloween Ends, or Michael's going to speak in Halloween Ends, like, even... Like, when, when the movie even came out, he didn't even speak at all, because Michael doesn't speak at all, because he has, like, a di disability, but he just never really spoke. He just stared at a wall for 15 years, and he finally snapped, but, um, Michael's just badass in this fucking movie. I don't know if this would, this would probably be one of my favorite Michaels, but except for, uh, the ones, oh, I should do a tier list on that, um, best Michaels, but, yeah, um, so, this is, I guess, a re-review, and, uh, like, when I watch the fucking movie again, obviously, I was rooting for, um, Michael Myers, and then the whole part where they trap him in that basement, and then at the very end, you see him gone, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, another scene is where, uh, where he kills that one kid in the car. Well, I don't want to call that, but a cool scene is where, uh, you don't get to actually see it, but at the gas station, he rips out all the guy's fucking teeth because he, like, extends his jaw and, like, kills him. And then, like, he drops his teeth into the fucking stall that the journalist are in, well, journalist is in, and they put up a fight, and I, I think that's pretty cool, and then Michael gets his mask back, then, yeah, but that was a, uh, a re-review on how he does in 18, uh, five years later, obviously, but I, I know I've uploaded a review five years later, like five years ago, because this YouTube channel was just launched five years ago. Only now in 2018, I mean 2020, but yeah, I don't know what else. But we're gonna be moving on to kills, and then fucking ends. And I'm gonna about I'm about it ends. There's gonna be so many fucking problems I'm gonna talk about. And then kills, I kills, I don't get how people didn't like that one. That one's fucking great. I like kills and like David Gordon Green wanted to make a. Like, fan-pitched ideas, it's like a fan film, technically, because everyone wanted more blood, more gore, and more than a slasher film, wanted to see Michael get revenge. And I like that one, I think it's good. If people can't handle gore, they can go fucking suck each other off, I don't fucking know. But, yeah, uh, I don't know if I should do, uh, well, there's more videos coming, uh, Friday, Friday for Freddy's review, uh, Call X, X Disbeliever. I still need to watch that shit. Haven't got the chance to. Um, 
Saw X, I really want to watch the 10th movie. I haven't watched it yet. A lot of people say it's fucking great. But Finance and Freddy's re review will probably be out. I don't fucking know when. Maybe November, something like that. But Also, I might be doing a review on that Thanksgiving movie. If I even get the chance to watch that. It looks fucking good. It looks decent, actually. It's like uh, the mean one, and then Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And, uh, I can't wait for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2, and Terrifier 3. So, a bunch of shit coming soon, but, yep, that's about it. See ya.